Avenue and 117th Street. Let go of me. I don't want to escape. Okay. Nobody say a word. Not even you, mister. Just relax. My name is Dennis Reardon. I live alone. Ned and my wife having died one month ago. My daughter having been raped and murdered ten months before that. Netta and me we had three children. Dennis Jr., priest, serving in South America now. Frank, killed in Vietnam. And my daughter Agnes, my... She was... One night she was on her way home. You see, she works for this law firm down on Wall Street. Legal secretary so bright. The firm was sending her to school at night to become a lawyer, which is what she was doing when it happened. There was this one night. Oh. Just take your time, Mr. Reardon. You can take as much time as you need. Well, night classes don't get out until after nine. So it was dark when she was crossing City Hall Park on her way to get the subway. And he grabbed her. And he dragged her off under a tree after he robbed her. He ripped off her clothes and he... He did things. Rape. And more. But why did he have to kill her? Why? He took all her money and jewelry that she had, and he threw her purse away with some cards in it, which is how come they called me the next morning to I'd, I'd identify the body. That day, I, I promised Netta that I'd keep after the police until they caught that animal. Well, it turns out I didn't have to. They'd already caught him that same night. And he made a complete confession. Well, we thought, thank God. Now that murderer will pay for what he did to our Aggie. Especially since I identified Aggie's jewelry, which they found on him. So, we just wait for the trial. And then, months later, the detective on the case called and told us to come down to the courthouse. But there isn't any trial. It's just a hearing. And the district attorney says, Judge Lingle, in view of your honor's rulings, the people find it impossible to make a prime... A prima facie case. A prima facie case. And therefore, we consent to this indictment being dismissed. I took Netta home. But from that day on, she started failing. Lost the will to live. And at her grave, I made a vow. If the law wouldn't do anything about a man guilty of murder, then I would do something about it. So three days ago, I went out of state where it's legal, and I bought a gun, that gun that you have there. And just about an hour ago, I found Charlie Johnson, and I killed him. And now I want to be tried. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Mr. Reardon? I'd like to see my priest. Yes, sir. 